Listen, I want you to start selling what Marcus Young is going to be six months from now. Then they're going to turn around real quick. Exactly. See, you and I are going to do great things. Watch. So I'm in Texas right now. We have one more game against the Vipers. But then after that, I want you to... Yeah, uh, I'll call you back tomorrow. I didn't hear you. It's your room, too. You can take a call. Yeah, but I just didn't want to take it in the hallway because everybody would hear me asking, like, Marcus, what's going on, you know? <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, man, I get it. Yeah. Only a matter of time. All right, well, um, you know what? I'll let you get back to it. And uh, I'm sure you got a few more phone calls nah, to make. No, nah, no, nah, I got too much energy. I'm about to go get a run in. You can take the room. Plus, you look real tired anyway. You know... There's more to this game than taking the last shot and getting your numbers. Corey Harris taught me that. Oh, really? Tell me more. Were you guys on the beach with the stars? <laughs> man, go take your walk, man. I met plenty of people like you, AI. You know nothing about me, bro. You think you're special. You think the whole world revolves around your thoughts, your feelings. I got a family and people counting on me just like you. There's 491 players in the NBA. Most of them, like Corey Harris, they blue blood, so everything was just handed to them. But the rest of us, we down here, we gotta fight for the few spots that they didn't take. So if the only chance I have is by stepping over my competition, I'm gonna do that by any means necessary. And right now, that's you. You better believe if I gotta go through you, I'm gonna slice you right down the middle and clear that path. Doesn't have to be that way, man. It does have to be that way. And you know it. Even though your little girlfriend downtown got your brain off. Awesome. Don't you dare bring her into this. Whoa. Don't you dare talk about her. Whoa. Don't you dare. Whoa, 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 whoa. I touched the nerve. Keep talking, man. I dare you. Keep talking. Hey! Hey! Knock it off! Knock it off, guys! You lay one hand on him, and you're benched against the Vipers, okay? You too, Marcus. I'm serious. I don't know what started this, and I don't care. It ends right here, right now. You got me? Do you got me? Yes, coach. Yeah, coach. Come on, guys. I came up coaching high school volleyball, okay? And those kids never gave me this amount of grief. Not once! By the way, it's a very complicated sport. Don't know that I ever fully got it. That's beside the point. Get your gear. You're rooming with Howie now. Oh, dude, awesome. Yeah, we just got to get you some earplugs. Oh, Howie, do us all a favor, dude. Go to the drugstore, get one of those nasal strips, staple it to your nose. Well, no, Doc says it's hereditary. It's so. not hereditary, dude. I'm telling you, okay? You have a serious medical condition. And the rest of you guys, why don't we try to act like adults, okay? It's clearly hard for us to behave like basketball players, so let's just be adults. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go hit the showers. A nine-year-old Metro girl has a new lease on life thanks to surgery at the hospital for sick children. Tracy Hooper was given the liver of a nine-year-old accident victim in a four-hour operation. Hooper is in critical but stable condition, normal after such an operation. Her condition will be monitored for 72 hours to see if there's any sign of organ rejection. Rick Manson's World Motion Tour is over, and what a success it was. Manson skateboarded across Canada in 11 months, raising over $14 million to fight heart disease. He covered over 5,000 miles, averaging about 100 miles per day. Manson says he wants to thank all who donated to his cause and wants to remind us that even though his journey is over, the battle against heart disease must continue. Tom and Harriet Banks are the lucky winners of this past weekend Super Lottery draw. The pair came forward to claim an $11 million prize. Hey, I! Oh, it smells like exhaustion and sadness in here. You're lucky I got some medication. Uh, why does this look like something I need a alibi for? I know how you get hard on yourself, okay? So I was walking back from the pharmacy, anti-snore strips in hand, when I ran into this guy in the alley. And he looked tweaky, but he knew a guy. Who called a guy? And... BAM! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, pretty sure fireworks are illegal here, bro. 
Not when we're five so miles from the Mexican border. Mm, somehow that makes him sound more illegal. Will you relax? Fireworks are legal within city limits, and since we're in the middle of nowhere, you can lighten up, my friend. By lighting up. What do you say? Uh, I'm only gonna ask one more time. Let's do it. Hey, <laughs> hey come on, man. Oh. Quiet down. I'm not any louder than the fireworks are gonna be. Look, I'm just trying to make sure the coach doesn't notice us. I'm already on thin ice. Let's be honest, man. We played like garbage tonight. We were uptight. We were stiff. That The road's getting to us. For the good of the team, man, you need to chill. Right, right. Blow Listen, off some steam. I'm having a great time. I just want to make sure I keep having a great time by not getting caught. Oh, well, then. Here's a big old double shot of good time right here. I'll light one end. You like the other. Amen. Let's not hit the bus. Five, four, four three, two, two one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Oh, I think I'm in love. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, uh, what, uh, uh Howie? Uh, yo, Howie? Uh, oh, Howie. Oh, God. Oh, um. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's time we, uh... Yeah, we're inside. Okay, let's just say that this didn't happen. What didn't happen? Nothing happened. Run! All right, everybody, listen up, listen up. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the fire department says the cause of this fire was most likely fireworks. Some kind of projectile. Pow! Okay, and I'm especially bummed because I lost all my cool clothes in the fire! Now the fire department has to go inside the building, and make sure it's all safe for us before we return. And guess what? That's time we don't have. That might take all night. Howie. Huh? I'm, uh, well, yeah, yeah. Did you go to the drugstore? No. Get those breathing strips like I told you? No. I, I mean, yeah, yes. Breathe and clear, sir. All right, good hustle. Thanks, coach. The rest of you guys are gonna hustle onto the bus. And I'm gonna try to figure out who started this fire! What kind of basketball team burns down their own hotel? On the bus. Everybody. You can't leave me hanging like that. <laughs> hey, what what you mean? Come to our game again. Da da da, that's all you said. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, my bad. Um, I'm in our game against the Memphis Hustle. It's our last row game, the classic. Playing in the old school gym in Nice Town. Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be there. Can't wait to see you. What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing, just um, the road, this game. You're on the right path, AI. The bigger vision, it's there. Yeah, that's what Big Toonie keeps saying. What? Big Toonie? That's like seeing Bigfoot or Einstein and they had an encyclopedic knowledge of the Eurostep. You <laughs> met him? Yeah, yeah, I actually met him a couple times. Okay, and this is the first time that you're telling me? This is the first thing we're talking about when I get into Nights Down. All right, get some sleep. Yeah, yeah, that uh, that might be a problem. How come? Mm, well, uh, there was a fire at the hotel. What, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, everybody's, everyone's totally fine. It's just, um, you know, just a crazy accident. Uh, but, you know, we sleep on the bus tonight, so. Never a dull moment. Now I feel like I'm walking through an old shoe. Boy, you need to show some respect. This place is basketball. And we are nothing without the old shoes that came before us. Maybe we should focus on some new shoes. Looks like somebody hit copy and paste 12 times on a computer. Yeah, man, they even stepped the same. Man, yo, your girl is a great writer. Tell coach I'll be in a minute. What? Huh? Step it up, y'all. We got 10 points to come back from. Look alive and start passing more. You mean start passing to you? I mean start turning the game up. 
Oh, so if I give the ball to Howie every time, you'd be yeah, okay Howie with that? Howie, you're not going to make no shot. Hey, don't drag me You're only this. worried about this because you know that scout's in the stands again. Hey, I... Marcus has the matchup in this game. You know he has a point. You've seen it. If we're going to win this, it has to go through him. Come on, bro. Whatever you say, AI. We're behind you. Marcus. Hey, you want to beat these guys? Let's do it together. Pick and roll. What's the catch? No catch. I'm about winning, and that's how we do it. All right. Welcome back, everyone, to Memphis. First half is in the books between the Hustle and the Mad Ants. And Memphis was able to jump out to an early lead, but you can't count out the very tough Mad Ants team. I know this team has too much pride to not come out swinging and try and even things up early on here. Second half just getting going, so let's move on to the action. Well, you watch Marcus Young play, and he just has an incredible burst with the ball. And he has what I like to call sneaky speed. He'll surprise you or catch you off guard just when you, you think you know what he's up to and just go right by you. Have to protect the perimeter, especially when Young is uh, looking to shoot from three. Got a piece of it. Pass to Flash. Edwards. Back to Flash. Clock at six. From 20 feet out. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. No doubt about it, the Memphis Hustle can play a very intimidating game of basketball. The team comes at you in a measured and unrelenting way. It's like you're going up against a hive mind of players and coaches, and that's a daunting task. Cross-court passes are high-risk passes. Can't say I was surprised to see that one get stolen. I'd say uh, that shot was well within his range. I hope so. There's nothing like a one-footer. Now here's Young. He's got six. Can't finish the one-handed jam. You're not going to see him do that that often. Usually when he rises up, that's a guaranteed slam. Whoops. To the inside. When you play like AI has since uh, arriving to the Mad Ants, you're bound to get some attention. And there are some NBA whispers that have started to surface. You figured it was just a matter of time with the way that he's been producing for this team. Pretty passing. Timely recognition as to where the open man was. The hustle with the lead. Pass to Wade. Hawkins outside. Knight, Trigg defending. Flash. The shot's good. Royal Knight making the play. His shooting has been outstanding. Uh, definitely one of the reasons why they're up in this game. High post, Connor Trigg. AI. And here's Young. He's guarded by Flash. And again, it's Fort Wayne. Now, I have no doubt that Marcus Young will eventually get the call up. He's continued his development quite nicely here in the G League. Very talented guard. Now here's Hawkins. Here's the three. The shot that time, not on target. The Mad Ants go the other way with it. And you watch the way that Marcus Young plays. Who do you see him compared to in the NBA? Hmm, that's a good question, Blake. He's definitely a lead guard type. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And for Howie Carter, he does a good job creating for others. Yeah, Carter, he's not the type of player who's gonna drop 30 on you. But he does have a very steady impact with his ability to create space. Nice mechanics on the shot. AI is very gifted at cashing in from these in-between areas. Now Stevenson. From way back! 
trifecta! It's just a pleasure to watch him work at that end of the court, guys. And as we end the third... And we're getting underway in the fourth quarter. That scoreboard tells the story in this matchup, but we'll see how much things can change. And with the Memphis Hustle, not a lot of characters on the team. It is hard to point out a player that can separate uh, themselves from the rest of the team. PR, they have a hard time uh, marketing them, but they are effective where it counts on the floor. Well, maybe you should get out there, Tim. Carter, Walker defending. And here's AI outside. Tries to save it. Rebound by the Hustle. And here's a fast break. Here's Stevenson. That one wide left. Now the Mad Ants with it. 17-point game. Here's AI in for his seventh make in 13 attempts. Yeah, they're leaning on the mid-range shot right now. That's now six of their last 10 points from that area. It's working. I mean, as long as the defense gives you space, just let it fly. And what a matchup it is between the Hustle and Mad Ants. Two teams with two very different approaches. Well, you think of all the characters in the Mad Ants, and it's the polar opposite of the straight-laced Hustle. It's a clash of ideology on the floor. From deep. Eight for 15 with that made basket, but he's not satisfied yet. No excuse playing off of AI like this. He's a threat to shoot as soon as he gets the rock. Pass to Beal. Conley with it, launches it. It's hauled in by Randall. AI right side. And he makes that one. And now that we've seen a good amount of AI, how do you think his growth has been? Well, AI has always had skill, but he's shown some great maturity since arriving to the Mad Ants. He looks like someone who is completely focused on improving his basketball career, wouldn't you say? Deadman shot is off. AI outside. And the Mad Ants, another three. Oh, you've got to love this energy right now. They got hot right when they absolutely had to. Yeah, and now their only goal is to stay hot. Not much time left to complete this comeback. They've got to get it done now. Deadman's shot is off. Yeah, and unfortunately, you know, the big story for the Mad Ants is the motel fire they were a part of recently. It happened in their last road trip. I know something like that can really get in the head of a team. Now here's Conley. Guarded by Calderon. AI with the block. And really a big part of shot blocking is timing. AI showing that he's capable of rejecting shots. A little over two and a half minutes have passed by now here in the fourth quarter. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Well, if you allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's really your only option. Yeah, free throws are always better than a layup. I would agree with that. Well, one thing you know with the hustle is that they are going to be focused all game, Brian. At times, the group has been called emotionless, but I think that's unfair. The hustle never get in their own heads, no matter if they have a big lead or a big deficit. And I like that even keel attitude. Back to Young. Puts up the tray. Good, and the assist goes to AI. Well, when they desperately needed to get things turned around, they were able to do it and get back into this game. And it was their defense, just as much as their offense, that served as the catalyst and allowed them to put this run together. What a display. The Hustle, they have a very versatile group of players. Many can sub in for each other during rotations, and it makes matching up easy. That pass into the paint was dead on target. And here are the hustle now. Outside Edwards. Pass to Flash. Hawkins outside. Now here's Flash. Covered by AI. Shot clock at five. And here's Royal Knight outside. And again, no 
good by Memphis. And above all else, Coach Keller, he demands accountability, both on and off the court. Keller is fair, but he wants people to take responsibility for themselves. That means on missed rotations on the floor and keeping out of trouble off of it. Pass to Edwards. Shoots over Young. They can't stop the run with that one. AI outside. Back to Young. AI. Left side Young. Unloads. It's good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. He always delivers in the clutch, and he's got it going right now. That's who they want taking the big shot. Well, one thing that you can say about the hustle is that they play incredibly well as a unit. This group is the very definition of what it means to be a team. I mean, if you look up team in a dictionary, this team will probably pop up. They play with a single purpose, no antics or egos, and they always show up to win. AI, he's guarded by Flash. Pass to Young. AI outside. Over Edwards. No good. Well, I mean, to me at least, Brian, it looked like it was going to be an easy two points there. Yeah, and I can't quite read his lips, but it's pretty easy to tell. He's got some angry words for himself after that miss, but you don't want to keep your head down for too long. Get your head back in the game and get him next time. Yeah, they had to do that. You just can't let him dribble it out. Definitely. Got to stop the clock any way possible. And just hope they short arm a few of their free throws. It's a good foul, and it's a good point in this situation to, to make them hit their shots. And he gets both free throws here. And it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. And the Mad Ants call time here. What's your take, guys? With this much time remaining, they should be able to get themselves a decent shot at the basket. Still, a contested three is never an easy shot. They can tie it. Oh, he couldn't make the shot to force overtime. anything fancy. That's what the hustle is all about, and that's what works for them. The advantage they built just too much for Fort Wayne to overcome. And that's going to be all for us, folks. Nikki, hey. Hi. Yeah, first of all, this is totally fine. We can fix this. I only wanted people to know about the fire so that we could see that you guys had a rough night. You know, I thought it'd be a good story before or after a game, whether you won or lost. Mad Ants rise from well, the fire Nikki, Nikki, to hey, hey, play hey, again. Hey, hey, slow down, slow down. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you talking about? After I published the story, websites started posting links to the video. You should have told me what really happened. I never would have written what, what anything. I didn't know about? there was a what video. video. What? Come on. I've um, got this. I know wait, how to handle this. Wait for me this. outside. Okay, okay wait yes. for me outside. All right. Don't say anything. Just watch this. I'll light one end. You light the other. Oh! Oh! oh no! Oh! Uh, yeah, I, I think it's time we, uh... Yeah, we're inside. Okay, let's just say that this didn't happen. What didn't happen? Who posted this? But Coach, I, I just... I just think I know, should know who, who recorded this if what it's going to be treated you? like evidence. Why did I tell you when I took you on? I talked about discipline and control and respect. You don't have any discipline or control. You just lost my respect. You know what else? You lost your place on this team. It's over. Everything I've worked for is just wasted, gone. Just... <laughs> you can get past this. No. Spin it, apologize. No. Look, I'm, I'm not some star player who just sent out a few bad tweets, Nikki. I'm nobody. When you're nobody, they have no reason. They need one reason just to say no, and I served it up. I served it right up to them. Start over. I'm sick of time. I'm so sick of starting over. I just... You said you wouldn't have written anything. What are you talking the about? The video. You said if you knew about the video, you wouldn't have written anything. Is that true? 
I don't like where this is going, AI. But this is your job. This is what you do. This... You wrote the story, Nikki. You, you think started that I'm this. going to ruin your career for a couple of retweets? Do you know what is where wrong that video with you? came from? What does it matter where it came from? Because it had to be Marcus. I don't know. You can check a couple original postings if you do some digging. So what? You wrote the story, Nikki. You wrote it. People piled on, but you started this. You wrote it. This is your fault, Nikki. This is your fault. This was a mistake. What do you mean? I told you the first night that we went out what my line was, no, and Nikki. you crossed it. Okay, look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Get out. I didn't, no, Nikki, I didn't. I didn't Find your own way back to Fort Wayne. Marcus the legend? Hmm? Didn't even bother to change your username, did you? You look upset. You a snake. <laughs> hey man, I told you, I would do everything I have to do to climb over you. And then you, you just happen to be careless enough to turn your back on me. You'd be lying if you said to yourself that you wouldn't do the same thing. So, checkmate. Game over. <laughs> oh, man. I had a friend once tell me that um, people can recognize desperation just as quickly as talent. And I didn't listen to him. I mean, I knew he was talking to me, but I just figured, you know, it's just words, I didn't care. But I get it now. In this exact second, me running in here, hollering at you, getting caught up in all this, all this, the league, the league, the league. Seeing you now is like, it's like looking in a mirror. And if that's what it takes, I don't want it. So yeah, man, you gonna get the call now, sure, but it won't last, Marcus. Teammates, coaches, they gonna smell it on you, all that, all that fake hustle, that locker room chess. You're just gonna grind yourself straight back here to where you started. Just a sad weekend amateur, struggling to put a ball through. Cool story, bro. Seriously, like, beautiful, amazing story. I liked it so much. I'm going to text you a picture of my first game check. <laughs> Why are you still here? We're done, right? Yeah, man. We done. You're done. I didn't look so bad. You didn't. You recorded that whole conversation. I did. <laughs> he doesn't know I'm helping you, does he? Listen, you made the right call by posting that video. Together, you and I, we're gonna do great things. No one I ever wanna see him on another roster after this, unless it's like a local rec league. <laughs> so, what do you think? I got some old videos. I can make it work. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? This is AI coming at you from Indiana, all by way of China. 
It's just gonna be a matter of time before the NBA sees what I can do. Fort Wayne, no, no, I no. can't wait to kiss his sorry excuse for a town goodbye. Corey Harris, I'm coming for you. You're gonna be buried right next to Marcus Young. No, that's not me! Hey, excuse me, hey. Your bus boy, Zach Coleman, is he here? No. Well, well, when's he gonna be back? I need to talk to him. I don't know. He's off in the NBA, living his dream, managing Marcus Young. We're all very well, well, proud. Well, I, 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 Marcus Young? Yes. That's what he said? Yes. Friendly piece of advice? Fort Wayne, I can't wait to kiss his sorry excuse for a town goodbye. I'd try to find somewhere else to eat. I'm very excited to be here with the Spurs. I mean... I'm also excited to experience the great town of San Antonio. Uh, it's a dream come true. Honestly, I'm really humbled by it all. It's the opportunity to be a part of such a great basketball legacy. Everything that Popovich is. Pretty brave, being seen out in public with career kryptonite. <laughs> Don't forget Fort Wayne's most hated. <laughs> right. Old boy at the burger stand even charged me full price today. Earl? He never asked full price. Uh-huh. And then he charged me extra for pickles. And he said, have a nice day, IA. Oh. Which I didn't totally get, but I assume was an insult. Nah, I think that's just Earl. He calls me Bert. <laughs> even if I correct him, it's, it's, he's still like, have a great day, Bert. <laughs> So what y'all doing here? News. You hear about this guy? No. Oh, what? Bought himself a fishing boat. Yeah, it looks like I'm not gonna be getting that 12th man spot. So, it's over. Moving to the Keys, let my belly grow. You got room for one more? Hey, no way, man. I'm bored that thinking. It's a slippery slope to early bird specials and afternoon bingo games with blue hairs. Oh, baby. That does sound good. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know how to fish and I get seasick, but I learn pretty quick. You're not listening to a word I've said, have you? Hey, you're not gonna spend your time wasting your career on a boat with me. AI. I got Come no on. offers, man. Season's done for me. I don't know, man. Maybe my career's done. If we see right through it, you'll be screaming for a training camp in a month. Doesn't matter how loud I scream if no one wants to hear it. 